The word Broadway is one of those words that represents New York. There's a Broadway in every borough. But at one subway station in Brooklyn, its different look is staying that way. Mocker went out to see. The G train. There's a Broadway stop here in Bushwick. Broadway, Broadway, B R O A D W A Y, Broadway, Broadway. But there's uh, something wrong with one of them. The R is missing here, but that's not it. Broadway, 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 Broadway. Nope, this is it. Broad away. And, uh, <laughs> you care if they fix it or not, or it makes it, uh, it just makes it one of the special things. Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's kind of neat to. I, I, Everybody knows the Broadway. Yeah, there's really? just a B down there. The Daily News has reported this. I saw it recently in the Brooklyn paper because they they said the MTA came out and took a look and said we're just going to leave it that way. But I've I've caught caught some misspellings here. Like we go well, yeah, or you know, we know, I, I noticed that one. I like those other ones. But you know, we look at these signs yeah. a lot. So one said uh, it's supposed to say flat bush. It's down by the Botanic uh, Gardens right. in Brooklyn. It said flat bush. But they fixed that one because it was, it was kind of a big one. That one was kind of glaring. But this has, uh, does this give character to the place? I believe it couldn't be so. Long. No so character, long. huh? Just a misspelling. <laughs> but I guess it's been there for, you know, 9,000 years. So All right. it's kind of one of the character things. Maybe we'll let this one go, right? So, okay. Some history on that. It has been there since 1937. Uh, they say it's charming. I don't know. I might agree with this one. You know, it's not as easy to fix something in the tile as it is to say to fix flat bush, which I, they did fix. You know, it's almost like exposed brick or something like. Theoretically, you're not supposed to see it, but, but it does add and character. It character. And if it's been there long enough, you can charge extra for it. And we do love characters. And Broadway is kind of like he went that away. Well, that's a Broadway. All right, good. And uh, let me update you on the, uh, the first night work. of work. Yeah, that was kind of a big deal. We thought uh, MTA said that it went rather smoothly. And uh, I, of course, tracked uh, complaints and concerns. I didn't see that many on Twitter. I did not receive that much. But I bet if you walked to the 4, 5, and 6 and tried to get the train and it was uh, the station was closed, it inconvenienced you, and there were longer rides and uh, waits as well. So what did hundreds of MTA workers accomplish last night, and what will they be working on going forward this week? I asked and then I headed out to the Wall Street uh, station and then also to the 23rd stations. These, those were listed as getting washed and painted. So we took a look around and we talked to riders. If it's closed here, then where I'm, where I'm gonna get off, get off the walk? Because then what, I gotta, I gotta walk. Or you have to take an enter uh, NQR for uh, two or three. Bus? No, no shuttle, because they're saying the, I mean, the stop's right there if you're taking an N. That fast track work continues tonight and Wednesday and Thursday and Friday. Let me know uh, if you notice something out there. Uh, tonight at 10 is when it starts, and that's when I'll have a, a, a walk around to see what they accomplished in the first day. It won't be fast enough for some people. And we'll see what they did tomorrow. Too. All right. Thank you, Greg.